Undoing your mistakes in DaVinci Resolve can be done in several different ways, and while it does match a lot of other programs and how it's done, the mechanics of it can get a little weird. The basic way to do it is to use hotkey Control z or come up here to the edit menu and click undo. That's the part that matches most programs on Windows, but the reason it gets weird is because we have all of these different pages. I'll show you a couple of those weirdnesses, then I'll show you how to redo because that's also often useful. When we make a change on one page, or even in one section of a page, it can affect what we see on every other page. So if I go into Fusion and make a change to this Fusion comp, we'll see that reflected when I switch back to the edit page. But if I try to use our Control z hotkey to undo that change, it's going to undo our last action we took on the edit page. To undo what we did in Fusion, we have to go back to Fusion, find that specific clip, and undo there in order to undo that change. I'll show you an example using the color page as well because it's similar but different to the way this works in the Fusion page. So we'll switch to the color page and select our clip, make a couple of changes, then add a new serial node. Now I'll come back down to the wheels and make a change. After that, if I click our first node and undo, we lose that whole node we added a second ago, even though that wasn't our last action. But if we add that node back and make two changes, then click our first node and press Ctrl Z, we only lose that most recent change. And if we want to quickly redo an accidental undo or just check what we did, go ahead and use hotkey Ctrl Shift Z or find redo in the edit menu. If you want to learn about some more hotkeys in Resolve, I have these two videos for you to watch next. I'll see you over there.